One question I get asked a lot, uh, either in comments or by my subscribers, is why don't I have another X Max yet? Uh, the simple answer is I'm waiting. Um, same thing with the Nero, Nero uh, the Arm and Nero. Uh, I actually have a buddy who has offered me his phase on, and I may be taking him up on that, but. There's a couple problems with the phase on uh, compared to like the Revo stuff like that. The phase on has problems keeping pins in the drive shaft. The pins break. Uh, you have to add a lot of the HD parts for it to really last. The X Max. I still have a lot. I mean, I I really want another X Max, and I'm going to get another. One, but I'm going to wait. Because the last time I made a rash decision on a brand new vehicle, I paid for it. But I ended up getting a very good vehicle in trade. But the amount of money I spent fixing that X-Max, the original X-Max, over and over and over again. The diffs, uh, putting the castle system in it. And that just made the diffs even weaker. Uh, spur gears, pinion gears, tires, wheels. Uh, the tires would balloon to the point they would explode. Wheels would crack. Uh, shock shafts would break. Now they have the titanium coated, but you can actually get titanium shafts and uh, hinge pins from uh, Ultimate Engineering, I believe it is, uh, UE. Uh, that's probably the route I'm going to go. I don't know why I went a little. Uh, but, as of right now, I'm more into vintage vehicles. Uh, Wednesday, today's Monday, Monday. So, Wednesday, I'm going to uh, Opelika, Alabama, and I'm buying uh, two... Team Associated Nitro TC3s that come with two bump boxes and a OS18 motor. I'm really getting rid of all my electrics and going nitro. I don't trust electrics. Uh, one of the reasons, I'm glad it happened with such a small battery, but uh, uh, before this one, there's an eBay seller. Uh, I started talking about this in the last video, but I didn't finish. Uh, these are little tiny. They actually use these for uh, video transmitters on um, FPV planes and quadcopters. This is a 180 milliamp hour 3S battery. I bought two of them. Uh, I've charged both of them at 0.2 amps. Uh, I've both charged at the same time. And after the second one was done, it immediately vented. Thank God it didn't explode, but it, it puffed up to double the size and vented. The guy on Facebook just asked for some pictures. I'm not Facebook. Uh, on eBay, it just asked for some pictures. And he got pictures, and he ended up sending me a free one. Even though it was not his responsibility. Usually when there's a bad battery, that's on the company. But he sent me another one. And I actually have two of these for my brushless vehicles. My brushless minis. And I have two 2S batteries. So, yeah, I can run two. In the house, I'll run 2S. Outside, I'll run 3S. And uh, my girlfriend likes the small vehicles. My, my fiance, she likes the, the micros. But... I, I prefer nitro. I prefer gas. The new X-Max is very enticing, but I'm waiting. Uh, I want to see. I already know that the new 8S uh, ESC, they're already burning up. They're already failing. Uh, I've already heard and read new motors are seizing. And so right off the bat, as soon as I get one, I'm, I'm going to have to put another $400 into it to put a castle system in it. Uh, I'm probably going to go with a Poseidon motor. 
Uh, around a thousand kV, not 800. I don't need that much torque. Uh, yeah, but it's going to be running on 8S. Uh, and also with 8S, there's more cells, so you can only fit so many milliamp hours in it. When I was running my 7500, my 7500 milliamp hour batteries, this was as big as it could go. Uh, it could go longer, but this is a brick. These are huge. Uh, so that's the main reason I don't have an X Max yet. I am waiting. Uh, I've heard so far the diffs are holding up most of the time. If they don't hold up, there are diffs that have come out finally that are actually machined still, not cast, not centered. They're actually machined and they're spiral cut. Uh, it used to be Rock Passions coming out of China and now GPM is the name on them. I don't know who makes them, but I just know there are some diffs out there that... <clears throat> We'll be able to take the power going to it because the guy, the original bot person on my X Max group that got it was running a castle setup and 8S. So I know that those discs can take it. Right now, the new X Max has X Max has been out for about a month, maybe a month and a half. I'm probably going to give it about six months. Read everything. Uh, I'm an admin of the largest XMAX group on Facebook. I read the forums. So there is a very, very, very good chance I'm going to get one, but again, waiting because I want to know, once I buy it, how much am I gonna have to invest into it? Because when we got, when the original XMAX came out, great truck, discs couldn't stay in one piece. Uh, the only thing it was really good at was, uh, well, personally mine was on-road. And that's mostly what I did with it. I, jumping a curb, a curb this high, just a rounded curb up into my yard. I had bought a new spiral cut diff from Traxxas. The uh, Traxxas spiral cut diffs. And the front diff, uh, the front end landed first. No wheel speed. Well, little wheel speed from going up it. But I didn't try to straighten it out because I knew it was going to, uh, I didn't have enough time to really try to move that much mass because it's only about jumping about that high. Uh, about maybe a foot into the air. So if I was to floor it to try to bring the nose up, I would smash out both the diffs. But that's the major problem with the X-Max and also I think it's $950 for... Just a lot of injection molded plastic. Uh, it's... Uh, I can't see myself spending that much money on that. That's why I'm waiting. The biggest thing is waiting for a used one. They will come right now. Uh, everybody's getting them. Loving them. But somebody's eventually going to sell one. I'm going to be there to snag it up. Uh, it, of course, like with all my used vehicles, I'll... I know the X-Max very well, so I'll tear it down completely. Uh, every single screw, change out every bearing for new, uh, change out the gears to new, everything to brand new. So it'll basically be a brand new X-Max. Any part that looks worn in any way will be replaced. But I have pretty much every X-Max video there is on how to. And the 8S is built exactly the same except for the new sort of center diff uh torque biased center diff i really want to get my hands on one of those and see what it looks like see how they operate and see how i can do a wheelie with a center diff uh, i know with my truggy and stuff if you put heavy enough grease it can do a wheelie uh and even with my dvxl if i hit a bump just right now i have one million weight uh grease in the center diff and it can pull a wheelie but not on its own that's a lot of weight for it to pick up if i was to put say a 46 cc 
OBR motor in it, it wouldn't have a problem. But I don't want to overpower it to that extreme. Uh, I still want, to, and that's going to also add a lot of weight. I like to be able to race mine if I want to, uh, even though mine's highly modded. And again, I love gas and nitro, so going electric, I, lipos are still, compared to other batteries, are in their infancy. Uh, they haven't been around an extremely long time compared to NICAD or nickel metal hydride. They are very unstable, like I saw with uh, many people have seen with a, either a puffed battery or something like that. You're not going to get a puffed battery, but with nickel metal hydride, the cells can actually explode. So, yeah, it, they're sort of a give and take with batteries. It's a chemical reaction that's happening inside of a battery with a motor. All it is is internal combustion, and I understand how that works a lot more, and I, I know how that works. I studied how that works with LiPo batteries. I know how it works. You have an anode and a cathode, and I'm not going to get into it. I know how they work, but they're not... There's not enough protection on the outside. Uh, so if something goes wrong with that battery... If it catches fire, your vehicle is screwed. It's gone. Uh, unless you can get to it real quick and put some dirt on it, even then they're going to blast out a lot of lithium smoke. It's deadly. Uh, I still haven't gotten around to putting a nail through that 5,000 milliamp hour battery. I'm going to do that because our, the RC Hunter, he actually had one explode in his house. And he and I have a video that we're going to sort of do together. Uh... He has that video, and I'm going to use some of his video and put it in mine. And I'm going to let him take some credit for it so he can use my video. Uh, but yeah, right now it's basically just a waiting game with the X-Max, waiting for a used one to come along. They'll come along and probably be five, $600. That's fine with me. I can do that easily. $1,000? I'm not rich. Uh... Some of these channels, people have money, a good amount of money. Uh, the RC cars I have, I've collected. I mean, I, I have a good amount of RC cars. I have a lot of knowledge, but I can't just up and spend a thousand dollars like that. Uh, usually, I have to save, and I could do that. I could save the money I'm going to spend tomorrow. The money I'm going to spend on the first and buy an X Max. But again, I'm waiting. So that's why I don't have an X Max. Just like many, I learned my lesson from not only the X Max, but also the Convergence and VTOL. When you buy a v, uh, any type of vehicle that's brand new to the market, you are a beta tester. Anything that goes wrong, you're going to have to pay for it. Uh, especially with Traxxas. Before the X-Max came out, Traxxas was great at warranting parts. They replaced anything that went, even when I was brand new to it, and some screws came out because I I was stupid, and I didn't, they didn't lock tight the screws on the motor that held the motor in place, and I went to use my uh, Easy Start wand, and turns out that one of the screws that grounded out the Easy Start to the motor had came out. Well, they sent me new screws for free. They sent me a new motor mount for free. They sent me uh, brakes, spur gear assembly, all kind of stuff for free. But since the X-Max came out, they had to dish out so much money uh, for parts that they stopped warranting stuff as easily. You would have to send the part into them so they could look at it see what went wrong well with the diffs the simple fact is the teeth were too small for that much power and that much weight if you look at a fifth scale the x max has the weight with batteries of about a fifth scale vehicle uh, and when you have teeth uh comparable to about an eighth scale vehicle they're not going to hold up not with six to eight horsepower and insane torque immediately as soon as you pull that throttle all the torque is there i mean the x max is very well known that's why they had put a willy bar on the 8s 
because it's just going to throw it straight back with the 6S. It will throw it straight back. And a lot of people get in the 8S, they're putting their 6S motors in for the higher KVs because they've said the newer ones don't look as quick. They're faster, but they're not as quick. Uh, I don't know if this is true. Uh, around me, there's not a lot of RC people. There's airplanes, but not surface vehicles. I have one track within 20 miles of me that is not even uh, maintenance. Uh, when I go there, I actually have to patch holes, uh, fix whatever's wrong so I can do some laps. Um, but yeah, I'm going to end it there. Uh, I'm just waiting. I'll get an X-Max if, if they hold up. I'm not going to put another $2,500 into a vehicle and then trade it. I don't like getting rid of my vehicles in the first place. Once I have a vehicle, I didn't, I, I decide, okay, that's the vehicle I want. That's the vehicle I'm going to keep. Uh, I've only traded... Uh, the one I'm about to do Wednesday will be four vehicles. Uh, yeah, I believe so. Uh, SCX-10 was my very first. Uh, the X-Max. Uh, something else I can't remember. And uh, now I'm trading another vehicle for, uh, two vehicles actually. I'm getting, I'm trading one vehicle and getting two, a Jado and a Kyosho. Uh, Inferno MP 7.5 Kanai Edition 3. Uh, actually, at the time, it was a world champion buggy. It won the world championship. So, yeah, I like the older stuff because I know it's going to hold up. Uh, and also, I just, I love the sound of nitro. I love the sound of gas. Electric is great because it's quieter and you have all that power. I love my funny car. Uh, but I'm also getting a nitro top fuel dragster and it's nitro powered and it's 30 inches long. It's, it's long. Uh, that's what I'm getting on the first, uh, Megatech Dark Thunder. Uh, so you'll be seeing that video after the first. I'm buying that from someone, I believe he's in Indiana. I can't remember. But yeah, he has a lot of pretty much the best nitros. He has a, uh limited edition Ofna Titan Twin that has dual 0.28 motors. That's just insane. It's 8S. But that's when Nitro was in its heyday. Now Electric is coming in and taking over everything. LiPo batteries are just... Yeah, the Roar approved and everything, but they're still very unstable. They only have so many charges and they only have so many charges and discharges. Like even with my Phantom batteries these you can only do about maybe 500 charges and discharges with the nitro motor if uh once it goes bad all you have to do is replace the piston in the sleeve that's from 35 to 80 bucks well when you get into a vehicle that takes two 4s lipo batteries and very high milliamp hour rating they're not cheap they're over a hundred dollars uh my 7,500 milliamp hour Venoms are $120 a piece. So, it's expensive. Yeah, a lot more expensive than Nitro. A lot of people say Nitro is more expensive. No, in the long run, electric is actually more expensive than Nitro. Because Nitro, yeah, you do have to buy the fuel. But they really don't use a lot of fuel. They have tiny tanks. And that tiny tank can last 15 minutes. Well, like this. This is the 75 milliliter tank. I fill that tank three times. I've got 45 minutes of fun. And I've only used 75, 225 milliliters. So that would be half of this. Well, a little less than half of this filled. That's not much fuel when you have three or four gallons of the fuel sitting around. Because uh, you're always using nitros. And... The gas is only $30 a gallon, so it's not that expensive. I hate to say it, people have gotten lazy. Uh, the convenience, I can understand if you're a busy person, uh, the convenience of electric, all you do is put batteries in, flip the switch, and go. 
But the fun of RC to me is working on what I have. Build it up stronger, build it up better. And of course, if I get an x max a castle system is going to go in it. Uh, I don't like the real... I, I like the XLX because it has more tuning abilities. So I'm going to end right there. I'm waiting. That's all I'm doing right now. Waiting to see what's going to happen with the x max How are the diffs going to hold up? How is the driveline going to hold up? How is the ESC and motor going to hold up? So far, the ESC and motor is not looking good. Diffs, uh, about 75% success rate so far from what I've seen. Maybe a little better. A lot better than 50-50. Uh, a little less than 50-50. Uh, success rate of about 40-45%. Uh, simply because they're too small. Tires blowing up, uh, if you even tried to go 1850 uh, gearing. Um, I was just watching a video of someone comparing a 8S X-Max to a Baja that has a nice engine in it. Well, the, something happened with the X-Max and it ended up going into a curb. The plastic parts aren't expensive, but again, plastic metal <laughs> there is a big difference between a metal chassis and a plastic chassis like my baja 5sc not gonna dwarf that maybe that huge mammoth in europe that's a one-third scale i don't even know what kind of steering system that thing is using i'm gonna have to look more up on that thing but yeah that's it i'm waiting